Good morning and welcome Forex traders. Welcome to my live trading room. This is where I trade systems such as day trading, swing trading, and the four horsemen. Uh, today is 8 January 2021. It is 7.05 a.m. on Friday. Uh, I got my new site up here. This is where you can link your MT4 to my MT4. Whenever I place a trade, it'll place a trade right onto your MT4. You don't even have to have your MT4 open. Uh, you can go right on over, click on the uh, Manage tab right here. And got a little uh, tutorial right here. And you has got the sign-up page and a couple of brokers that are that you can use here. Uh, quick disclosure, I do have affiliate links there. Um, this is the broker I use. They are not accepting U.S. clients at the moment. Um, but if you are a U.S. client, um, you can choose, yeah, you can choose any broker. Um, at your own discretion just make sure that they follow um, these simple guidelines right here have an mt4 platform and, and and allows hedging make sure you do your due diligence with the broker uh, moving on over let's check our stats here this is our day trading stats let me go ahead and zoom out here for you real quick my day trading stats here with the equity curve Swing trading sitting through a bit of a drawdown at the moment. This is all since I've been doing it here with, with you folks uh, live here. Um, I started off with uh, I started off with um, a clean, fresh uh, account since I when I did the show, and uh, every stat I've been doing here with you folks live, um, and uh, so it's not much of data. It only goes back a couple of months. Um, and I had a lot of people asking me why it's such a small account. The reason why is because the master account, for psychological reasons, I um, the, my master account is my micro account, and uh, all the other accounts um, at, um, beyond that are the larger accounts. So whenever I use the trade copier, um, I just trade off of my micro account, and uh, it's much easier to deal with small losses when it's on a micro account. Um, and then it adjusts, it adjusts according to the account balances on, on all the, uh, on all the copier accounts. So, um, if you have any further questions on that, go ahead and visit the site and you'll see. And, um, that's just me. That's just how I trade. It makes it, you know, whenever I was, uh, starting to trade larger accounts, I would start to trade differently. So that was my, my downfall. And I figured it out that if I just use a uh, trade copier, then, you know, that kind of solves that problem. So. Um, you know, everybody kind of has their um, has their hurdle to to cross, you know, and that was my hurdle. And uh, you just got to find a solution for it. And when it comes to trading, so um, you know, it's it's not magic. You know, it's uh, trading comes with you know you got to figure out who you are as a trader. First of all, you have to learn you have to learn everything about trading, the all the ins and outs, um, and you have to learn where you fit in this world uh, and you know you have to learn yourself and uh, how you know what your flaws are and everybody's got one and mine was uh, dealing with the psychology of trading larger accounts so I just trade a smaller account and I use a trade copier for, for larger accounts okay um, so if you have any further questions you can always uh, send me a message uh, on my website um, now I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this here real quick um, I did get up late and I missed a couple of moves, so I want to go ahead and talk about that. Um, let's go on over to the full pivots, and that's my fault. I never usually wake up late, ever. Um, I just uh, was catch up on sleep because I haven't had much lately. If you've been watching my videos, uh, you can see that I have been um, not sleeping much. So, anyways, uh, go ahead and this pull up pound, and I did miss this beautiful move right here. Um, during the London had the breakout and a beautiful wick down right at central pivot and now we're up here so let me go ahead and fix my box here there we go it came right down to it perfectly uh, and do we still have a chance probably not probably not so in that and then uh, on remember on Fridays we can still uh, trade even though we were once in the uh, weekly take profit so if we were in the weekly take profit and then we came down we didn't even have to reset at central pivot and then we can have another trade set up and that was it right there okay 
So, a couple of uh, missed trades right there. My apologies. Uh, I will try not to let that happen again. And with the Euro, we do have a possible trade set up here. Um, we, we even reset ourselves right there. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that out. Do we have a chance uh, left on the Australian for it to come back? Yes, we do. Um, and I still have that penny water here on the pound yen. Never came back. It's sitting right here. And uh, I was uh, fully expecting for it to do one of these. And we didn't get it. So that's that. Um, do, 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 let's see. Euro yen now. Um, it's just too close to my weekly to take profit. I'd rather it be down here and then do a breakout with more white area here. Um, kind of like how the euro is, how it, how it came up in here, but then it pulled, pulled back and then there was plenty of white distance between here and the take profit. People are going to be also very eager to take, be taking profit right, right in here, still, still yet. We're still hanging out above, you know, above. So yeah, this was the uh, big miss. This was a big miss. This one, this one still has a chance. Uh, I don't think that I do here on the pound though. Um, this, this to me looks like the, the move. But we'll see. I'll keep you informed. Now, uh, talking about Bitcoin, here's here's a thing here. Uh, this right here, right here, um, when it does this, okay. Let's ignore this right here. Okay, let's ignore let's let's ignore all that, right? Okay, when we were looking at at that. I'm gonna draw it back again. Okay. When we were look when we were looking at this, um, this was a topping out look to it, right? It even came down and broke below the uh, S one for the day. And when this happens, you have a lot of stop losses that are here and here. So people are starting to sell. They're selling. Uh, actually, what, what they're doing is they're selling a retracement here, and they're selling a retracement here, and they're selling a retracement here, looking for the big dump. They're trying to put uh, traders in a squeeze uh, as far as the longs go. They're trying to squeeze these guys, right? The bulls. So they're trying to squeeze these guys and they tried once, they tried twice, and they probably even moved these stops to right here. And as soon as that failed, all their stops get hit. Stop, 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 stop. This is their squeeze. So the, now the uh, bear has got squeezed. Stop, 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 stop. So that is a perfect um, failed squeeze play and they they try to they try to hunt stops on the bulls they try to hunt the bull stops and cause a cascading effect uh, and when it failed it squeezed the bears <clears throat> interesting that's the that is a perfect failed squeeze into the bear squeeze right there they were trying to hunt stops and they in themselves got squeezed that affected our um, now what I'm seeing here on ethereum is very interesting uh, we uh, they had a head fake this is all directly related to uh, Bitcoin we came down to support. We broke support. 
Bitcoin started breaking higher and that pulled up Ethereum. Now it's finding support again. So this may be the catalyst that brings us up to 1360 and beyond to 1400 to the all time high. And that's very important. This level right here, if that breaks, um, we don't have any further resistance with Ethereum. And look what happened to Bitcoin once it broke 20,000. So that's going to be fun to watch. Okay, anyways, if you like how we trade here and you're interested in what we do, let's go. Okay, so that was a little late. I got my intro in, but anyways, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to keep you updated on these trades. This watch Bitcoin, this watch the Australian US dollar, this watch Ethereum, this watch the pound US dollar, pound yen maybe if it comes back. Stay tuned. All right, so, uh, so some updates here. I went ahead and I placed my pending order here for the Australian. Okay, and uh, target is going to be right up in here. Remember, this is Friday, so we can cut through these uh, weekly take profits. Um, also, I did uh, move down my pending order here because um, we can slam right out of this uh, daily take profit, throw a wick right down in here, and then continue back up. I've seen it many times before. All right, and then uh, so I got those two pending orders on right now, uh, and um, I am going to set an alert right here for just in case we come back down this way. Just so that way you see that I don't have any active orders on my. Um, client's account okay so that's what we're watching right now okay yep that's what I got going on right now I do have a, um, an alert for the uh, euro USD for if it breaks above the uh, point of control so that's we okay Bring this back on over to the dark charts. Okay, here we are. Perfect. All right, here we go on the Aussie US dollar coming down right now. Okay, and uh, did this one trigger? Okay, it triggered here and did it trigger on my client's account? And yes, it did. Okay. All right, there we go. So we got that one in. All right, so I just got my alert and I placed my pending order. Day trade alert. Day trade alert. There's the pending order for the pound. Day trade alert. Day trade alert.
Day trade alert. Day trade alert. Day trade alert. Day trade alert. All right, so I just got triggered on the pound US dollar trade. And uh, just keep in mind, this is NFP. Um, it doesn't matter to me, NFP new in news events. So uh, unless it's a rate change, an unexpected rate change or something like that. But uh, so we just got triggered on the, uh, so make sure that I got it triggered on my client's account. There it is. Okay, got it there. All right, I want to point out here, Bitcoin is uh, just about to make, yep, it's making a new high right now. Take a look on the, um, let's see here. Five, that's the five minute chart. One minute chart. Back on the one minute chart, we're above 42,000. Fifteen minute chart. <laughs> All right, I'll take you back over if we start breaking new new highs again. Bitcoin getting spicy here. One minute chart. The 15 minute chart. <clears throat> spicy, spicy. Looks like they're trying to hit the stops again. All right, if 
you're a bear, you're looking for stops here. Or if you're just a stop hunter. Remember, you got wrecked again early, earlier today, but this is right where you're trying to look for stops, right here. You got stops, uh... You got stops underneath underneath here and you got stops underneath here and you got stops underneath here you got stops underneath here you're looking at to hit all those right now This is right where you'd be selling right when it came to retest that that candle that we just had. So here we go. We're looking for these stops right now. Stop number one's triggered. Stop number two. Here we go. Stop number three. Stop number four. Stop number two's just triggered. Come down. Stop number three. Yep. There's stop number three. And you're looking in to get in again. Right there. That's your second entry. Now you're moving down your stop just a little bit. My pound in Australian is coming down right now. It's early in the hour though. rebound here, huh? It is an all-out slugfest right now with Bitcoin. The bulls are trying to defend their stops. Remember, they were successful earlier today. Combine these two levels right here. It's 
said the bears are reloading guarantee you they got some tight stops on their uh, their short sales here so they got wrecked earlier today Everything else is coming down. The euro is definitely coming down. Euro USD. All my USDs are coming down. Lots of volatility right now with the uh, NFP. Bulls are trying to uh, defend here with the uh, Bitcoin one minute chart. My dollars are getting wrecked right now. Here they go. See if the bulls can defend this level. All right, they're trying again. Yens are coming down. Dollars are coming down. Bitcoin's coming down. Okay, here they go again. go let's watch this hitting the stops bulls are panicking a little bit yeah ethereum's coming down too Eight thirty AM. All 
I'm gonna have volatility going. Lots of volume. This is where the bulls are trying to defend this level right in here. There goes the bears again. Bulls are trying to defend this this whole region right in here. They go again. They are hunting those stops. Look at that volatility. Lots of volume coming in. Hunting those stops. There it is. Trying to make back from their losses earlier today. Still over 40,000. Here's Ethereum. Okay, that was a support turn resistance. Let's see if that holds.
basically you don't even have to look at uh, MACD or stochastics you can just tell that this is a uh, divergence right here that's why the bears were looking at taking it down and hitting stops okay What the bulls are trying to do, they're trying to uh, make this a swing low right here. And they're trying to push price back up above these levels here. That would stop out all the bears also, and that would create another squeeze play. They're trying to reload because they just got stopped out on, on their, on their uh, longs. And now they're trying to reload and squeeze the bears. We're back up to near 41,000 again. It's like a game. Just like a game. And this is like the uh, the field, the field of play. And these are the levels they're battling. Eight forty five AM. So the end of the hour is where I put more weight on where price is at. You got a little bit of a rebound right now in the dollar pairs and the yen pairs. So the scalpers are coming in, they're scalping these boxes right now.
This is a scalper's dream right here. Scalpers are going to probably come in right in here. Getting a little bit of a rebound right now, right before the hour change is 8.52 a.m. Getting a rebound on the pound U.S. dollar and a little bit of a rebound on the Aussie U.S. dollar. It's just a blue box game right now. Okay, I'm going to remove this box. It's kind of uh, not as important. It's uh, 8.56, so it's battle for the end of the hour on how the hourly candle is going to appear. And that's important to set up the next hour. Let's take a look at that candle. Okay, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to put in a big spike right there at the uh, 21 moving average. That's what the bulls are trying to do. So this is the 21 right here, and they're trying to make a big spike. That's a that would be a, become a bullish candle. So the end of the hour is very important. Let's go back to the one minute. Yep, that's what they're trying to do right now, and we have uh, five minutes left. We got a big recovery right now on the uh, Aussie U.S. dollar and pound U.S. dollar. We have four minutes left until the end of the hour. We're going to take a look at those hourly candles as well on my uh, dollar pairs. Starting to see that rebound right now. Let's see if it holds. We got four minutes left. Let's take a look at the one minute chart on the pound. OK, 
Okay, so far we have two minutes left until the change of the hour. All right, so here we go. We got one minute left. Let's go to the um, one minute chart on my pound and my Aussie. Here we go. All right, here we go. We have uh, 9 a.m. So let's take a look at the hourly candles. Hourly there, hourly here, and hourly on Bitcoin. All right, let's enlarge. Big spike right down to the bottom of the bull buy zone. We're sitting in profit right now. So it's a battle right now between uh, these levels. Uh, once we break above, we're going to move up our stop. Switch it back. We're going to switch back to the uh, 15 minute on my pound. Let's take a look at the hourly close here. Same thing with my Aussie. We have the uh, spike all the way down to the bottom of the bullish buy zone. Also, this is a uh, support I will be moving my stop once we break above here switch this back to the 15 minute can uh, 15 minute candles sitting in a little bit of profit right now take a look at the uh, Bitcoin hourly candle and yes it is a big spike and then let me actually zoom in so this is what they were able to do and this is what the bulls wanted to show a spike rejection right on this 21 hourly moving average right here. And it's still battle of the boxes, but this is looking a little bit better for the bulls. What they don't want is for this next candle to come all the way down and wipe out that, that spike and close as a uh, bearish candle. So this next candle is also very important because then uh, as going forward, if it, if it closes and, and wipes out this uh, this spike right here, then you won't even see that spike. Um, you won't even see that spike anymore. It will just look like a, like a bearish candle. Let's go ahead and zoom out, put it back on the one for the Bitcoin. Still a battle of the boxes here. Bitcoin still looking spicy. I stepped away for a second, and then we had a another uh, attempt here to the downside. The bulls are still trying to defend. You have a battle between the bulls, bears, and the scalpers are in between, just scalping away these boxes. Nine twelve a.m. Are sitting at uh, 9:20 a.m. Still battle of the blue boxes. It's uh, 9:22, and we still have the battle of the boxes coming back up again. Scalpers are just having a blast right now. Taking a look here, it's uh, 928. Here we go, coming up to the next level.
All right, let's look at Ethereum's battle here. It's uh, 931. Hey, if you like this price action, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you want more of this. Nine thirty six AM. Still battling. Okay, and something to look out for now. Some resistance in there and a little bit of resistance coming in right in here. Of course, I'm gonna have to mark the uh, all time high as well. All right, all right, here we go. First level of resistance. Ethereum's coming up. Pull over Ethereum. Okay, these are some stops getting hit right now. We're at uh, first level of resistance to see how important it is. Breaching right now, going to the second level. All right, it's holding so far, it's holding. This is a bullish move. Ethereum's trying to poke its head above the resistance level. There it goes. All right. Move Ethereum back over. I'll pull it back up if we're breaking back above for Ethereum. But I want to see this here on Bitcoin. Nine thirty nine a.m. Struggling with that resistance. Back into bullish territory. We're having lots of volume. Take a look at this. Look at this just go wild. Can you even make sense of what it is? <laughs> it's going absolutely wild. All right, here comes Bitcoin back down to support level. Let's draw these out further again.
All right, it's 9.43 a.m. So we're going to be coming into the last quarter of the hour. Again, that's going to be the important time. I want to see it come down to this box and gain support and move back up again. Getting to move uh, on the pound dollar and the Aussie dollar. All right, Bitcoin looks like it's still struggling with this resistance level. If we break above this, we're going up to the next blue box. If we fail at it, we're dropping down to the previous one. This is going to end up being a longer video. We're already at uh, 57 minutes, but it's worth it. Here we go. Coming back down. Coming back down to this blue box here. So it's 9.49 a.m. All right, so we're uh, about nine minutes out from the candle closure of the hourly. Are you not entertained? All right, coming back up to resistance. 9.52. All right. Coming up, up to the next resistance level. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Let's see if we can find support on this blue box. Here we go again. Spicy. It's trapped between the two. Here comes some uh, volume. It's a battle right now between the scalpers. Nine fifty four, still battling. All right, my apologies. I had to step away for a minute, so we did have the hourly close. Let's take a look at that. All right, well we're we're right up there right now, so uh, I don't see. Uh, uh, let's see here. I want to take a look at. So we're sitting at break even right now on everything else. Um, let's go back to the uh, one minute chart for Bitcoin. We may just consolidate here for a little while. Let the scalpers scalp away. All right, here we go. Battle of the blue boxes. It is uh, 10 away a.m here on the 8th of January 2021.
All right, breaking the support. Go ahead and down to the next support box. All right, nine, uh, 10, 12 a.m. Coming back up now, it's not 10, 13 a.m. Told you it's gonna be a spicy, spicy day. It's uh, 10, 14 a.m. Gonna test the, uh, the upper boundary. Okay, we're gonna be having a big move here shortly. Here's the battle. Here's the battle, uh, end of hour coming up, 10, 51 a.m. Just taking a look across the board here, I still am seeing the uh, the weakness on my dollar pairs still uh, sitting near break even for the pound USD but a little bit of drawdown right now for the Australian US dollar all right here we go three minutes left in the hourly candle these are one minute candles right now that we're looking at but we're gonna flip back on over to the hourly chart here in three minutes Coming back down to support, we got two minutes left. Okay, here we go. We have the end of the hour. And uh, yeah, still a little bit of a consolidation going on, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's bring it back to the uh, one minute. Um, I'm going to, since we're, we're getting tighter and tighter in our consolidation, uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at this for now. And uh, we'll come back to it if anything happens that's uh, important, more important. Uh, so right now we're uh, sitting at uh, 11 a.m. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip this back on over to the 15-minute chart. Uh, taking a look at the clock here. I ran up the clock. Uh, it's, we're at uh, 1 hour and 35 minutes, so I'm going to end this video here. Uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, tune in to next video to uh, see what ha ends up happening here with uh, Bitcoin. But until then, I hope you have a good weekend, and we'll see you in the next video.